everyone, and welcome back to Celine's Public Library's book recommendation video. I'm Gisela, and in honor of Native American Heritage Month, we'll be highlighting Indigenous writers. These authors place Native American voices front and center in front of readers' eyes. So first on our list is There There by Tommy Orange. Tommy Orange begins his best-selling debut novel with a 10-page prologue of about 500 years of Native people's history. His essay establishes a context for the various traumas, insecurities, and disconnections his characters are all facing. He points out the countless ways in which Native people have been targeted and the effect this profound generational trauma has had on modern-day Native Americans. Honestly, the prologue itself makes a book worth reading. Okay, so the book itself tells the story of 12 Native and mixed-race characters all of them eventually converging in a climatic scene at a big powwow in the Oakland Coliseum. Among them is Jackie Redfeather, newly sober and trying to make it back to the family she left behind with her sister, Opal. Dean Oxendean, who's pulling his life together after his uncle's death and working at the powwow to honor his memory. 14-year-old Orville, coming to perform traditional dance for the very first time. Orange's deeply layered, brilliantly diverse Native American characters are masterfully voiced. Each is so distinctive and so honestly rendered that despite the book's frequent narrational shifts, the reader is never confused about whose story is being told. Together, this chorus of voices tells of the plight of the urban Native American, grappling with a complex and painful history, with an inheritance of beauty and spirituality, with communion and sacrifice and heroism. Hailed as an instant classic, There There is at once poignant and unflinching utterly contemporary, and truly unforgettable. Up next is Heart Berries by Therese Marie Myatt. It's a powerful, poetic memoir of a woman's coming of age on the Seabird Island Native Reservation in the Pacific Northwest. The telling of the story opens at a point of crisis, when Myatt has had herself committed after a breakdown, and is given a notebook in which to record her feelings. The triumphant result is Heartberries, a memorial of Myatt's mother, a social worker and activist who had a thing for prisoners, a story of reconciliation with her father, an abusive drunk and a brilliant artist who was murdered under mysterious circumstances, and an elegy on how difficult it is to love someone while dragging along shadows of shame. It reads as a series of journal entries, later compiled into short essays and addressed to her second husband, Casey. All in all, Heartberries is a sledgehammer that reckons with the wages of intergenerational trauma. It has a mixture of vulnerability and rage, sexual yearning and artistic ambition, swagger and self-mockery that succeeds at telling the ugly truth with rich and beautiful words, sumptuous imagery, and an unforgettable speech. And last on our list is the newly released Winter Counts by David Hesco Wombly Wyden. A groundbreaking thriller about a vigilante on the Native American reservation who embarks on a dangerous mission to track down the source of a heroin influx. Virgil Wounded Horse is the local enforcer on the Rosebud Indian Reservation in South Dakota. When justice is denied by the American legal system or the tribal council, Virgil is hired to deliver his own punishment, the kind that's hard to forget. But when heroin makes its way into the reservation and finds Virgil's nephew, it suddenly becomes personal. He enlists the help of his ex-girlfriend and sets out to learn where the drugs are coming from and how to make them stop. As a citizen of the Sichunga Lakota Nation himself, author Wyden writes with raw honesty about life there. The betrayal of Native Americans and the issue of Native identity are the backbone of this passionately told tale that hits the sweet spot between crime fiction and social novel. It's an action-packed tale bursting with criminals, pursuits, fights, and standoffs. Wyden applies all the standard crime novel tropes, but compelling characters and the reservation setting make everything fresh. It's sure to please the most seasoned thriller fans. Winter Counts is a tour de force of crime fiction, a bracingly honest look at a long ignored part of American life, and a twisting turning story that's as deeply rendered as it is thrilling. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out our video description for book titles and authors mentioned in this video, as well as links to our physical and digital collection. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and until next time.